And then hammock fur, and I've got a really simple circuit to show you today. It's pretty small, but it can be extremely useful if you need such a thing. And what it is, it's an item buffer. Um, and if you're thinking what that is, then I think maybe the best thing to do is do a demo. But I'll also be showing you how to convert it into item batch mode. And again, we'll talk about what that is with a demo. Okay. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, the circuit is actually um, three wide because this pistol extent, take out here, it's uh, four long and two high. Uh, we call it a flat circuit because it all sits on the ground, but obviously you need a supporting block here, so it's effectively too high. Okay, um, so what is an item buffer? Well, you know, sometimes if you've got, um, I don't know, a farm or something like that, which is producing items, but it's not producing them very consistently uh, and you want to feed that into a downstream system, I don't know, maybe a, a super smelter, maybe a multi-item sorter, something like that, okay? Then what you need is to ensure that items come in groups and not just one at a time. And we can do that by imagining that this is our input. It's coming from, I don't know, our farm over there. And it's going to come through here. This hopper, which is locked at the moment, is the one that's going to buffer the items. And when we get to a certain number, then we'll release them. And that number is decided by the number of items in here. And it's based on comparative signal strength. So you can't have any odd number of items. You can't have an exact number, but you can have one, 23, 46, it basically goes up in, in 23s until you get to uh, a full five stacks of items, okay? Um, we can make it a little bit cheaper. So, because one item is something that's probably not gonna be very useful, I can put this on subtract mode, and then one item will be the equivalent of 23 items in here. 23 items will be the equivalent of 46 items in here, okay? So with that on subtract mode, it kind of gives um, an, an extra set. If you leave it on compare mode like that, then you need 23 items in here to get 23 items buffered in there. I'm going to put it on subtract mode. Okay, let's see how it works. So I put some items in here. They will come along. They'll get stored in this hopper until such times I get to 23, and then you'll see this piston extend. And when the piston extends, it turns off this comparator, which keeps the power on here and will um, unlock this hopper because the target block is unpowered now. And so we get items coming through and all of our items, whatever items come through into here, will keep running through until we have no items left like so okay so that is an item buffer it, it always makes sure that you have at least in our case 23 items to start with but you can increase that by by putting more items into here um before it starts sending any items through but once items start flowing they keep flowing until such time as you know there's a gap if there's a gap in items coming through this will drop below 23 it'll pause again and it'll restart when we get back up to 23. Okay, so what about batch mode? Um, because this is great, but sometimes you want items to come through in defined batch sizes. Well, it, this is really easy to convert into that, but it's not perfect, and I'll show you why not. Okay, so uh, the way to convert it is you put a torch there. That's it. And the idea is, of course, that uh, items will flow through here into this hopper. Once this hopper gets up to the right number of items, this circuit turns off, that will light this torch and lock this hopper. So then all the items have to empty out of here. They're collecting in here in the meantime, but they're not flowing through, okay? So you get all your items batched up into specific quantities. Now, why did I say it's not perfect? Well, we've got our one item, which equals 23 here. And let's see what happens. Let me grab my blue wall back. And put it in this first hopper. And what we should see is that this goes up to 23. 
and we'll just wait for that to happen. Then this will extend, and then items will come through into here. More items are flowing and collecting in this one. But the thing I want to show you is it actually gets to 24, not 23. And that's because whilst this circuit is turning off, then an extra item manages to get into here and come across. So 23 uh, is actually equivalent to 24. But if your items are coming through a little bit slower, then it won't do that. So you can see here it's going to build up to 16. If I do 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it does release the circuit. And this time I'll only get 23 items. Okay. So it's not a perfect counter. A, you're constrained by the, the different signal strengths that comparator can read. And B, you have that one inaccuracy depending on the rate at which items arrive in a particular cycle when you're batching. So just be aware of that. That is a, a slight drawback. It's not going to give you an exact count of items. Okay. But it is really, really tiny, really simple to build and um, very effective as well when you need a circuit to do this buffering or batching. Okay. So I'm not going to do a build because I think it's, you know, pretty obvious um, from just looking at it, how to build that. Uh, what I will say, though, is there's a couple of things that you can do. So if you imagine that the items are coming from above, maybe, then that's easy to do. You just put a torch there instead. And if you want the items to go downwards from here, that is possible. But you'll need this hopper facing down. And the container underneath cannot be a hopper. It has to be a barrel or a, you know some other container. If it was a hopper, it would pull items out of here. So you're trying to store items in this hopper. If you had hopper underneath, you'd pull items out. That wouldn't work. Okay, so you'd a barrel underneath, and then underneath that barrel, you'd have another hopper. Uh, and the final thing I want to show you was that sometimes if you've got items which are you know sort of um, stuck in here, and you want to release those, you can just put a button somewhere where it's convenient for you maybe here and if you power that then the items will blow out okay and that is all i've got to show you today so thank you very much for being here and i hope to see you next time take care bye bye